Hi, and welcome to the Big Swim. So you want to make the crossing of the Northumberland Strait this year? Well, it's 13 kilometers via the Confederation Bridge from Cape Germain, New Brunswick to Borden, Prince Edward Island. By the time we put you through what is referred to as the Arc Route, that's 15 to 18 kilometers. Today, we're going to discuss mandatory equipment, everything that you'll need to keep you and your swimmer safe on the water. To make a safe crossing of the Northumberland Strait, each big swim kayaker will require a variety of safety equipment. It starts with the boat. Minimum 14-foot ocean-rated boat with secure deck lines and dry hatches. You'll have your own PFD as well as a PFD for your swimmer. Paddle and a spare paddle typically affixed to the deck of your boat. Of course, you'll want to have a dry skirt in case there are waves. Additionally, we'll provide you with a coarse bearing. For that, you'll need a compass, either a deck-mounted or handheld version. Whistle, throw line, and in case of emergency, should you roll, you'll want to have a paddle float, either a foam or inflatable version, as well as a pump for once you're back in the boat. On the day of the event, we'll supply you with a smoke flare and a VHF radio to communicate with the safety boats. Both of these items you'll return at the end of the event. I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, out on the ocean, it all serves a purpose. And with that said, on behalf of everyone at Give to Live and The Big Swim, Thank you for your time, effort, and your gear. See you event weekend.